Okay, hi, hi, friends. It's another great day. So I'm over on the west side. You can see by how close I am to the mountains. This is, uh, I'm on Colorado Boulevard, West Colorado Boulevard, near OCC, Old Colorado City. Then it goes up into Manitou. But there's about, I'd say, 15 blocks here where it's kind of old school, like, like you feel like you're in some kind of old touristy town. Then it goes on into Manitou Springs, and then you go up into the mountains. All right, here we go. So I don't know if you guys remember this little one. They've redecorated it. It used to be kind of western and panelly, but they've painted it white and blue, kind of giving the little facelift on the inside. It's a little one, but the prices are always good here. Um, and then there's an arc up the street. I don't know if I'll get to that today. And then also on this side of town is an awesome place I need to go to. It's been forever, and that is Sweet William's um, Vendor Mall, Antique Vintage Mall. Definitely, I need to get that on the list. It's been a while since we've been there, and it's always good. All right, we're going to go back to hard goods first. Okay, here we go, you guys. Let's see what is on sale. White is 50% off, and purple is um, 30 So this little dude, look at him. Wait a minute. That's a better tag, too. Let's see what that says. All new materials. Who's this owl? Rex Forest Friends Collection. It's only a dollar. It's cute. Dang it. Okay, I already said cute already. <laughs> Purple is 30% off. It's a little doe girl. Mexican or Peruvian. Let's see what it says. It says something on it. I can't read it. It's a little 80s thing. Hoppiest piece. They didn't um, glaze it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there I go again. I'm going to use different words today, you guys. That is like a little incense burner. That's nice. <laughs> right? That's nice. <laughs> okay. Pottery piece it is signed. I'm not sure what that's for with the. There's Jesus. I'm going to set this someplace else and I'm not on Jesus. It's a little vintage vase. These are all over Ross and Home Goods. I'll buy some Home Goods stuff though. Because they get some unique one offs, you know. And uh, so if it ends up at the thrift store, but it's. But it was cool, and the price is right, and I can offer a good price. I'm here for it. It's like a piece of Raku, but let's see, it is Raku. It's more modern, a mass-produced piece. But it is a Raku style, sort of, I think. I don't know if it was real fire pit. Okay, I don't know why I picked that up, because I don't do that kind. I'm not a big fan of that. There's so much of it at my booths. And this is cool, but don't be confused. Well, you won't be because there it is. It's just flashed on the outside. And it is coming off. Let's see what these little shot glasses are. Not in good shape. A, no, it's a pumpkin. Wait a minute. That's a pumpkin. Now, these glass and ceramic pumpkins those just do well during certain holidays even if they're haha <laughs> 5 dollars to ARC and one ninety nine here this is the cheapest goodwill in town this is the most affordable but anyways what I was saying is these can be newer and they still can perform well for resale I'm not in love with that one though music's not too loud here that's awesome I wish all the goodwills were like this Like there's kind of a Walmart Target Home Goods thing. It's cute though. It's only three ninety nine. See, I could just throw it in the booth, offer it for under ten dollars. Somebody would be so happy, and it would help 
the reputation that you know when they come to the mall it's not just a bunch of expensive antiques and stuff some kind of game um, you know bring their friends and have fun there's a little project oh I do like these kind of things let's check her out bisque $1.99 Made in China, but it is older. Sophia Ann. She does have a broken finger. That's just how it is at the thrift stores. You know, we gotta find the stuff that's good, and then we have to hope it's not chipped or broken. But it's okay, it's fun. And you can go to the antique mall and vendor mall, and yeah, everything's curated. I mean, that's fun too, but then you just have to look for what is, you know. I don't know. They didn't know what it was. You feel a little weird about that sometimes. Precious moments, eggnog. Um, you know, or just on sale. Is that a German, European type piece? So I like to do that too. I'm just more of a thrifter. There's so many thrift stores here. I'm not moving too fast for you guys. Dried flowers. Oh, butter dish topper. Is there, nope, don't have the bottom. It's like a Target piece. Nothing on this aisle. They're kind of busy. They're a little store. So it doesn't take very many people for it to be kind of crowded, you know. Okay, that's got boo-boos on it. Okay, I'm going to turn around. We'll find another aisle. Next aisle. Let's see. Well, wait a minute. I did look at glasses, you guys. There was nothing to really show you, okay? But I did check them out real carefully. So now we'll just do some honorable mentions just for fun. So that would only be a dollar. <laughs> Those are kind of cool. <laughs> That's fun. Someone made a wooden owl box. It's cracked, so we're just having fun looking at it, you guys. That someone made. Oh, they lined it with felt. I won't be able to get it, though, because it's cracked. Nice treatment on the sides. They must have layered some pieces of wood together. $3.99. We have to pass, though. Somebody's ice bucket with local things on it. Oh my. <laughs> Made in Italy. Scorpions and crawdad. This is cool. This kind of glass stuff, I am buying some of it. I started a couple years ago because it's an 80s, 90s thing. For those that did that kind of stuff, that like Art Deco revival with the glass. Uh, I don't think I want a cactus, but I have been buying some of that in the last couple of years. Carved bottle, twelve ninety nine. Hmm. <laughs> Four ninety nine. And what do we have here? A clock. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. Some Target, I believe. Threshold is Target, right? Ah, you guys just just got done telling me. Already forgot. Nope. This is in your basket, but it was nicely lined. Turning around. Crafts and office supplies. Oh, big display. That's an older one. And it's dual. Solar as well. Haha. Uh -huh. I have one, but it might be on its last leg. 
nose clip and ear plug set. Joe Boxer. I think those. I don't know who sells Joe Boxers now, but I know Kmart was big on it. We don't. We don't have any more Kmart's here. I don't think we do. A mitzvah book. That's a little more interesting, huh? Love a good office supply. <laughs> With some good paper, you know? Some good quality paper to print things out on. That's always nice. If it's affordable, you know, just keep it around. Receipts, I'm okay for that for garage sales. Good on that stuff. Okay. Some end caps. Funny. Probably Mexican plate, Mexican painted. Let's see what's over here. No, thank you. That's odd. We're just gonna look at it, but I'm pretty sure I don't want it. <laughs> Five ninety nine or s I don't know how. I guess the top sticker. Ah, huh? uses that. Oh, there it is. There it is, you guys. Chocolate it does have one little chip, but gosh, look. Okay, yeah, dollar ninety nine. That's a pretty. I'm gonna do that, even if I just use it myself. We're gonna do that. I'm good with that. Okay, so sporting goods, books, camping gear. All this stuff is out of my wheelhouse. That's a nice decorative item that is kind of trending right now, but it's $6.99. Oops. Okay, settle down. Let's see. Extension cords. I'm just chatting because, you know, music. Just chatting. Kind of a Burberry inspired print. It's a nice one though with the wooden handle, isn't it? $8.99. It's not a Burberry, but inspired print. Faces. Every once in a while I look at books, you guys. I tend to kind of gravitate towards, since I'm not a book person, I look at like coffee table books. Let's see if any of them are interesting or like um, reference books, you know? I tend to kind of glance at the big ones. I do see flea market style. <laughs> Country painting. Bohemian. No, biomechanics of sports. Okay. Floral vases. You guys recognize by now, right? Floral vases. That one's different, though. Barbell. Yeah, it's a lava texture. Looks like something from Sofa Mart or something. Eight ninety nine. Yeah, that would have to be a pass. Well, we're not finding a lot, but I'm still having fun as usual. Still got rounder tops. Might take a peek at clothing since we're here. I don't get over here very often. So here's some more larger books. Take a peek real quick. Water, dictionaries. Ooh, sometimes dictionaries and Bibles though are definitely can be worth a peek. You guys, I'm at a red light. I just thought you might enjoy this view. Garden of the Gods is just right over here. So yeah, I'm over on the west side. Okay, it's my turn. Talk to you later. I decided to leave that Goodwill. I'm just headed around the corner to the next one. So that'll be the next video. Bye-bye, you guys.